So everyone obviously is very excited about the bispecific antibodies. Uh, so the one that's furthest along in development is teclistimab. Uh, so this is a BCMA targeted bispecific antibody that's being developed uh, by Janssen. And you know, patients that were treated at the recommended phase two dose had a response rate that was over 60%, the majority of which were very good partial responses and better. Uh, median progression-free survival was close to a year, and duration of response uh, has not been reached at this point. So for those patients that are responding, they're responding in a very durable manner. So that's very exciting. There's a number of other BCMA uh, targeted uh, bispecific antibodies that are in development. For example, Pfizer's you know, um, developed L-rantamab. Um, uh, AbbVie uh, is also uh, pursuing a BCMA bispecific antibody that looks very interesting. Uh, Regeneron, uh, BMS. Uh, you name it, I'm sure I've missed somebody's. Uh, I apologize about that, but all of these bispecific antibodies are showing response rates that range in the 60 to 70 percent range. The majority of these responses are deep responses, very good partial responses and complete responses, and again, they appear to be durable. Um, as far as side effects of the BCMA bispecifics, um, these agents also target normal plasma cells, so acquired hypogammaglobulinemia is an expected side effect, on target side effect of the, this class of agents, and the majority of patients wind up on IVIG uh, monthly to reduce their risk of infection. Um, infection is uh, the, the primary concern with these agents, and we have to be very vigilant about ensuring patients are up to date with COVID vaccination uh, where appropriate, monoclonal antibody prophylaxis uh, where appropriate, uh, you name it. Um, but very exciting uh, a group of drugs, and hopefully uh, teclistimab, which has been approved by the European Commission, will get approved uh, by the FDA in the near future. Uh, there are other uh, uh, bispecific antibodies that, in, that are in development uh, targeting uh, things other than BCMA. So talquetamab is a bispecific antibody also being developed by Janssen, which targets a plasma cell-specific marker called GPRC5D. Uh, so this is expressed on plasma cells, but it's also expressed uh, in hair follicles, and it's also uh, expressed in the oral mucosa, which leads to some unique on-target side effects of that particular agent. But in the initial first in human phase one trial, response rates are approaching 70%. Again, the majority of these responses are deep uh, and durable. Um, in addition to the expected uh, hypogammaglobulin anemia that you would uh, see with a plasma cell directing agent, uh, we are seeing um, dry mouth, uh, alteration of taste, uh, occasional mouth sores, uh, skin rash, uh, nail changes. Um, these things oftentimes uh, respond very nicely to topical corticosteroids, although the taste alteration can sometimes persist. Uh, based on our own experience at our institution, we do find that those side effects do improve over the course of time when patients have been on therapy for a longer period. Um, so that's a very exciting uh, compound. And then there's Sevastamab, which is another bispecific antibody that targets uh, FCRH5. Yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> So anyhow, this is a, uh, another plasma cell specific marker, uh, the function of which remains to be seen, but it is very specific to plasma cells. And interestingly, in this particular uh, study, uh, there are patients who've had prior BCMA therapy, um, so very heavily pretreated group of patients and response rates that we're seeing with that are you know, in the 50% plus range, again, most of which are quite deep. So that also looks very promising as well. Um, and then obviously there's the CAR T-cell uh, story, which I think we'll talk about in another question.